Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Pedro. How are you? I'm really excited, teacher, because my weekend was uh, really amazing. Oh, really? Yeah. Would you care to tell me about it? Yes, teacher. I told you that we we will. Oh, you were going to, to the beach, right? Yeah, with my friends and my wife. So we enjoy it, those moments. Oh, that's nice. You got a tan. Uh, a little bit, because the the beach house was uh, far away from the beach. Oh, really? So we have to walk a lot. So that's why we didn't enjoy a lot of the sea. Oh, yeah, you, you went to Atami. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Some, some houses are far. Yeah, some houses are far, far away. Yeah, yeah. I remember mm -hmm. a friend of mine had, a, actually, she had a house there, but the same situation. The, the, mm -hmm. We had to walk like 10 minutes to get to the beach. Uh, well, you have to walk a lot. But we decide um, go for a little time to the sea. Because, yeah. I don't know, we can say sea or beach. OK. If you say the sea, you mean that you went into it. Into the beach. When you oh, say okay. to the beach, is that you went to the shore, right? Okay. Okay, because, perfect. Thank you. Because for that. actually, when you say when you use the word beach, you're referring to the sandy part. Okay. Okay. So we decided uh, went to the beach just for a little time because we had one uh, uh, soccer field. Oh really? A soccer game? Yeah. Yeah. We have a we in the in the house beach is one soccer field. So oh, that's we cool. made, yeah. So we, we make a match. That's nice, that's nice. And you stay yeah. over the night, right? Yes. That's cool. Yeah, that that type of trees are better because I mean you stay over the night, you get a time to relax. Yeah, and, and that's yes. you have a time to drink, um, too when yeah, you stay over the course. night. Yeah, I mean, you can relax, you can take it easy, unwind yeah. yourself a little bit. Yeah, that's right. Whereas when you have to drive the same day, you gotta be more careful, more responsible, particularly yeah. if you are with your family. I mean, uh, I went with my well, with, with my second family, with my friends. Okay. And my wife, too. So, it was really good. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. I mean, it's always good to enjoy a little bit with friends and family. I mean, and if you can mix both things, it's even better. Yeah, that's right. You get the best of both. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. So what time did you get home yesterday? Uh, maybe 5, 5.30, I guess. Okay. It was a little bit early. Yeah. Oh, but relax. we enjoy a lot of... I imagine that you got home just to crash down. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I you fell to sleep early. Yeah, yeah. really early. Yeah, that happens. Well, no, not really. Yeah. The, my problem is that I I can never go to sleep early. So, oh, really? Yeah. Yesterday, well, I was, I had to take my, my in-laws to a wedding. Mm -hmm. And we went to Wisuka for the wedding. Then, and then we decided not to stay too long there. We went to have lunch at... Uh, on the road to, to El Boquerón. Mm -hmm. And then coming back home, we arrived home around four, five, somewhere around. And then I got to work. <laughs> I to work a little bit. You yeah. visit a lot of places. Uh, do you like uh, those places that have a beautiful uh, uh, view? To be honest with you, uh, it's okay. I mean, it's fine. No, my mm -hmm. thing. I'm more like a beach person. Do you prefer but my family? 
my family like to travel like that. They like to the view and stuff like that. So, and for me, that's not a problem to be driving. Okay. And would you rather feature uh, the pool, the taste of the pool or the view? When you mm. visit um, whatever place. Actually, we are kind of picky and we like food. We enjoy oh. food. And okay. I so I recommend. Matter. Yes, tell me. I recommend one place is Cafe Santa Cruz. Where is it located? Uh, it's located uh, near to the um, Ilopango Lake. Okay. That's close from my house. Uh, to be honest, I, I don't know how the name of the place, uh, where it's located, because I use the UPS. Okay, but I'll look for it. Sounds interesting. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I'm, going, I'm going to start traveling that way, I guess, tomorrow, mm -hmm. because so uh, I got a new student, that. and I'm going to be, oh, I know where it is. I know, I know, I know. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, that's uh, that's not looking for the for a pool. It's in the other way. Uh, it's on the other way. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but you I have know. the view of the Quatepec, uh, Ilopango Lake. Yeah, I know, I know. I went, I went the other day. That's the thing. As I told you, my family like that. The other day, my uh -huh. sister uh, they invited me to to go with them and uh, mm -hmm. well actually we went in the in both two cars because there were plenty of us and mm -hmm. we went we took all that way they love the view they love watching the view oh. and stuff like that you know yeah, once we right. went once we went all the longitudinal just for fun ah uh, okay we went from here to chalatenango and then we ended up in ciudad barrios mm -hmm. And we went from town to town, jumping up. It was cool. I mean, it was cool for them. I was driving mostly because they enjoyed the view and taking pictures and stuff. And <laughs> when, was, when we are driving, we can uh, see a lot of things. No, but that's not a problem for me. You know, uh, I used to tell your classmates that once in a while, uh, we take the route like uh, Litoral and we just go like, I mean, we feel in the mood like a Sunday around 10, we are like, let's go have lunch somewhere. We just mm -hmm. get in the car, go all the way, like uh, Old Litoral, then uh, Cacutla, then Sonsonate, up to Los Naranjos, have a mm -hmm. cup of coffee there. We enjoy coffee. Oh. We enjoy coffee here in this house. And then going down to Santa Ana and then here. So. For me, it's not a problem to drive long, but sometimes it's like a little bit tiring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, right. It's, it's cool. Yeah, it's but cool. it's good. It's, yeah, it's nice. I like it. Yeah. Well, uh, I just took note actually of the, the the place that you suggested. I'll try to to look it up next time that I'm going that way. Okay. Thank you very much. Hey, welcome very to welcome, the class. Teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You too. Well, guys, let's see. Why don't we, uh, according to instructions, let me get the attendance. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. And José Wilfredo Ayala Sorco. Present teacher. Thank you. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. 
Gracias. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Thank you. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Thank you. Janira Elizabeth Asensio García. Okay, I think people is going to connect. So let's continue. Let's see. Let's see. Claudia Ramos. Hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. And you? Just fine. Just fine. Just great. Tell me, Claudia, I'm wondering, do you go fishing? Um, no, teacher. Oh, you don't like fishing? Um, a little. I like uh, swimming in the lake. Okay. Well, actually, I'm wondering. Uh, do people still fish there in the lake? What? I can pick a pescaji. Sorry, teacher. Can do you people, repeat it? Do people still fish? Do people still fish in the lake? That's the question. Okay. Fish, pescar. Yes, yes, but do people still fish in the lake? Do they? I no, no entiendo esa pregunta. Oh, per sorry, sí. sorry. People, people, people. Uh -huh, yes, yeah, yeah. okay. The question is, ¿las personas aún pescan en el lago? Ah, ok. Yes. Sí. Yes, but it's, um, how do you say? Es menos. How do you less. say es? It's no, less. Ajá, uh -huh, it's less. I remember a long, long while ago me fishing there. Hace muchísimos años yo pesqué por ahí. I used to love fishing, you know. I used to love fishing. I used to love fishing there in the in the lake, in the Pangos Lake in Cotepeque. Okay. And let's see also in the ocean. I like I used to like that. It's cool. But fishing at night in the ocean, that's a whole different story. It's, it's cool when the, how do you say, cuando está picando? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they're biting. Oh. Okay, yes. When, when they are biting. Yes, when they are biting, it's cool. I mean, when, you just get them. Uh -huh, yes. But I don't, I don't know. I, I never understood that. People say that it depends on the moon. Right? Yes. Um, yes, it depends the, the moon and depends the, 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 the time. No, but... Yeah. The time of uh, the year. Yes. Yes, the time of the year. Yes. Uh, yeah, how, cool. yes, yes. I don't remember how do you say invierno. Winter. Come on. <laughs> in the winter, it, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, but the only problem in the winter is that uh, if you are there and it starts raining, that gets crazy. Yes. <laughs> and cold, pretty cold. Yes, but I, uh, I like swim. Yeah, it's good. 
That's good. Hey, Claudia, thank you very much. Nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Wilfredo, hello. How are you? Wilfredo Guardado. Fine, teacher. How's everything? Okay, so tired. And oh, really? Yes, it is. It is Monday. It is hard to start the weekend. You need to, <laughs> to start up the engine. Hay que calentar el motor. Yes. You need to warm it up. Yeah, we have to do it every every Monday because because it is hard every every Monday. Um, but we have to go to bed Sunday at night early to the bed to rest yeah. enough. Yes, but yeah, I, I slept. I slept most that another another. Nine? More, more than, more than, more than, more than more older than nights. Older, older nights. Older, older nights. Okay. Well, that's cool yeah. that you could rest. What time did you go to sleep last night? But, excuse me, would you repeat? What time did you go to sleep last night? Ooh, very time. late. And Saturday at night, I go to bed very, very I, late. I went. I, I went. I went to bed uh, very late because my my children went to the church. They um, they have to to they sung. In the church. Oh, really? Yeah. At church. Yes. At church. At church. At church. And but they they went to be there until one a.m. Oh, really? But yes. Was if late? they if they aren't at home, I I can sleep. Yeah, I imagine, I imagine. You get preoccupied. You worry. You worry for kids. Yeah, it's normal. Yes. The same, exactly the same happens for me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, I, I guess that all, todos, all, all parents have, all, all parents. parents have to face that situation and all of us worry the same. Yeah. It's normal. Yeah, you know that's yeah. fire that's part of parenthood it's a part of parenthood have the same trouble or tr the same problem no it's not yeah. problem but it is no it's not a problem but yes. we always worry yes we are always worry but they, they like to go there it is it is nice the the, the problem the problem was. Yeah, the problem was that I, I am, um, I have to go the I'm sorry to sing too, but oh. early at at seven seven a.m. But I I I need to to wake up early, but I can sleep oh, well. Yeah, that's bad. That's yes, bad. but. But in the in the afternoon, teacher, the, all all problem go 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 because I went to play. I went to play Saturday in the afternoon and yesterday afternoon too. I went to play, but all the stress go out. Yeah, I mean it's good cool when you can get rid of stress and it's necessary. What? What about you, teacher? What about you? Oh. How about your weekend? What Saturday you do? working, Sunday driving. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm the Where did designated you go? driver. To first to Wisuka, then to on the road to El Boquerón. 
Really? Yeah, hey, it's nice. for lunch. Hey. Have you go, lunch. teacher? Have you? I, I have you gone? A, a restaurant over there are many good, very good places to yeah. go to eat. Yes. I drove to teacher um, a lot of kilometer because I went from Santa Ana to Tacachico. From Tacachico, road to Opico. And before, before Opico, I, I, I took another way, but I, I don't remember what is the name, the place where I went, went yesterday. Veracruz, I remember. But it is. That's it before is so Opico, far. right? Yes, it is between Takachico or Pico. Yeah, but see. it is in the mountain. Yeah, but Veracruz, I mean, you're on the street, but then you have to go all the way up. Yes. Yeah. What was it I is, doing it is there? A nice Casey, oh, I was hunting. Yes. It is. There are many mountains and when yeah, you I go was, to, to do it. I was hunting there. I've been around, I've been around. Yes. Hey, we pray nice talking to you as usual. Welcome okay. to the class. Thank you. Teacher. So let's see, Anna Claudia. Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine, Good thank evening. you. Thank you for asking. How's everything? How was the weekend? It was cool because uh, once uh, once every month I have two special friends. We go out just once in a month just to talk, talk, talk <laughs> and being updated for every one of us. <laughs> okay. And getting, 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 updated. getting updates, uh, getting up. Actually, getting up to date. Getting up to date. Okay. Yeah, that's so the expression. We, okay, so we meet to getting four or two. Four for getting up to date. Four, four yes. of us met to get up to date. Ah, okay, okay. We met to get or getting up to date. No, to get. Ah, okay, we met to get up to date. And it was fun. We, uh, well, we went to lunch and then we went to uh, shopping around uh, uh, some different stores. Yeah, we, we passed a good time. We spent a good time, I'm sorry. We spent a good time. And we've been talking a lot about life. But I guess I ate too much <laughs> because my stomach I... is. <laughs> oh, come on. Yes, I ate too much. And so I ate a big hamburger, hamburger. So I guess that is, I don't know if it was the sauce or maybe the ice cream because the ice cream, yeah, I'm not, my stomach is not comfortable with, uh, uh, with milk. Como is it? Leche de Yeah, with uh, milk. You are not. Pero, you're not, leche entera. Yeah, you are not tolerant to dairy products. Exactly. My stomach is not tol to, to tolerant. And I guess the ice cream was, is, I got just stomach ache, nothing else. Okay, <laughs> good. okay. No problem. But, I understand but you. That it, it was a good. I understand you. Look, this is, uh, this is let's see, <laughs> this is aloe. Oh, really? Does that yeah. help for? Stomach pain, stomach aches. Well, for my type of stomach ache, yes, it does. Mm. I got ah, okay. gastritis. Oh, really? Sorry to hear that. No, my uh, issue is just when with the milk, and I guess the ice cream had milk. No, but I don't have gas. Gas. How is? Did you say gastritis? Gastritis, yeah. Ah, gastritis. Ah, okay. Mm. Well, so you have fun. Yes, I have fun. It was a That's good nice. Sunday. Mm -hmm. That was very nice. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you very much and welcome. And thank you very much for asking. <laughs> thank you, teacher. 
Marta. Hello, Marta. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. And you? Uh, you know, here, same old story. How's everything? You know, same story, teacher. <laughs> My oh. weekend was... Uh, a regular one? A regular. Because so you mean going to my schedule. going shopping? Yeah. Doing going the laundry. To church, going to church. To supermarket. Um I went to breakfast with my friends. You know okay. same story. Okay, okay. Nothing special. It's, it's same, good that you did same the schedule shopping. for me. It's good that you did the shopping already, so you are not going to fail a class this week. I'm worried that some of you are going to be running away to spend money on Friday. Yeah. Um, I hope. <laughs> Do you like going shopping on Fridays, on Black Friday? Yes, of course, teacher, of course. It's traditional teacher, please. Black Fridays here in El Salvador are not really war, teacher. Fridays. You're <laughs> They're not really Black Fridays. One and the other Be one is careful, man. Lord, so much, so much people. That's crazy. <laughs> the traffic gets horrible. Teacher promotion. Now, how do you say sales? Sales, teacher. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I I just went once. I have just gone once. You uh, buy? I went once, just once, to buy some stuff. But believe me, uh, I am a very patient person for traffic jams. But that day is crazy. Yeah. I'm not yeah. going back. <laughs> yeah, I know. But you buy a uh, many things a good price uh, sometimes uh, it's is the better price the christmas yeah but you gotta man you gotta be walking around a lot to get to get good 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 sales you gotta be looking window shopping in order to find the, the good one it's traditional teacher please please Mm, you know, one you know, time in a year. <laughs> I hate malls and I hate malls for Black Fridays and Christmas. They get packed and I don't like that. The big Teacher. amounts of people is not good. For Come on. <laughs> and you gotta be careful. Remember, there's, yes, there's a pandemic. Yes. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay, Marta, welcome to the class. Thank you. Teacher. Where's Fernando? I saw Fernando somewhere around. Fernando, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Well, I don't know if asking you how are you. I know that you're working as crazy these days, right? Uh, yes, teacher. <laughs> yes, I had a lot of work, but I took time for, for the class because uh, the last week I I, you were pretty busy, yeah. right? Yeah, estuve. estuve. I was. I was. I was. I was. I was absent much time. I feel that my progress is stuck. <laughs> yeah, that happens. That happens. But don't worry. You're going to get back on weather. I mean. The thing is this, that you were pretty busy and it's normal. You have a lot of responsibilities on your workplace. And I mean, your mind is focused on that. And, and of course, I mean, that's your, that's where you support your home from. So, I mean, you gotta pay attention and interest to it, but things are going to relax a little bit and you will realize that you'll be getting back on track quite fast. I mean, that's normal, and that happens to all of us. Yeah, my, my work, especially this part of the year, is very, very hard. Yeah, I can imagine. I can, yeah, your area must be crazy at this time yeah. of the year. Yeah, but, and but, English, what can I do? You know, 
Yeah, you know, in our case, it's it's a little bit similar, but just for a few days, because I mean, last week, this week, and next week is crazy for me. I can imagine. I usually work on a computer and I use the computer a lot on a regular basis. But these weeks, man, I get stuck in front of the screen all day long at night and you know, and getting raised into the system, into the national system, that's crazy. And I get the grace, I register the grace, then I close the, I have to close the sections. After that, I need to print the, the, the certifications for the kids. And then I have to prepare the, the final book that we keep track of grades for everyone present it to, to the bosses over there in Kogutepeque. And man, it gets crazy. <laughs> I, have, I have so many, many activities to do. And besides that, I got meetings and the extra classes I teach. So this, I mean, it's three weeks. The last three weeks of November are horrible. Believe me, horrible. But and, so and right now I'm like, will be here. You will be relaxed. Sorry? You will be relaxed in December. Yeah, well, actually, you know, I'm going to be a little bit busy in the afternoons. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to be teaching uh, uh, private classes in the afternoon. Let me see. I'm going to be teaching two hours on Monday afternoon, two hours on Tuesday, Wednesday, no classes. Thursday, two more hours, Friday, three hours, Saturday, four hours. So I'm still going to be busy. Okay, but is it cheesy for you? <laughs> Not that easy cheesy, but um, necessary. I mean, it's the extra. And you know, extras are necessary, particularly at the end of the year. Okay. Because yeah. we... The problem is that we leave some projects for the end of the year. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I need to I need to paint the, the house, I need to give the maintenance to the two cars, I need to give the maintenance to the air conditioners, and I need to I need to buy a TV. One of my TVs is acting up right now. So I don't know if it's gonna be enough. I, I can imagine, teacher. In my work, uh, it's it's very hard, especially this this month. Uh, yeah. So in your case, January is a yeah, little bit January. less. Yeah, January is is relaxed, but December, especially the the, the last week for December, is it's crazy. Yeah, well, that happens. That happens. Yeah, the good thing I, is that you're here. You, you can distract a little bit from your job, at least for yeah. a few minutes. Yeah, it's necessary. Yeah, of course it is. Hey, Fernando, thank you very much for being here with us. Thanks, Let's see, let me check out, guys. Yes, we still got time. Let's see, let's see. There's some people that I haven't talked too much. Uh, Daniel, Daniel, are you around? Perhaps not. Let's see. <laughs> Roxana. Hi, Roxana. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm just fine. Thank you. And you? Oh, well, you know, here, same old story as usual. Yeah, me too, teacher. How's everything? Well, everything is okay, teacher. I was working on Saturday at morning. And after working, I resting all day, and I do anything on uh, Sunday. I didn't do. I didn't, I do, didn't anything. do anything. I didn't do anything. And Sunday, I wake up early because my woke father up. woke up early because my father uh, need to uh, travel to Cojutepeque. Because okay. he's working, um, el trabaja propio. 
he has okay. uh all he job? has his own his own business he has his own business it's his own business yeah yes. and he needs to um do some uh, entregas how do you say entregas? delivery yeah it's similar yeah deliveries on Cujutepeque and he invited us to my mother and my son and me to travel with him and we went to uh, Cujutepeque and visit uh, Cerro de las Pavas do you know what is Cerro de yes, las Pavas? Yes I know yeah okay and then we were uh, taking um having lunch sorry in buena vista restaurant this is okay. a, a beautiful uh, I, restaurant I know because the place. I know the place. yeah yeah they there is a beautiful view and in the afternoon i resting because you know i was uh, sick and i don't feel better but today it was a good day. I have a easy job, easy, easy day in my regular job, but I have a audit requirement. And I think that if there is like a extra work, but everything is okay. I think that this week the audit is finishing okay that's good yeah this is yeah, I, my I regular they, days i hate auditing you know? yeah me too oh, it's complicated it, it, it's complex because in my case i have to check a lot of uh, reports and i need to uh, ask for uh, queries to the it 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 department it it department and I need to check a lot of database and you know, it's complex. I have my regular job and I have audit requirement. That's cool. You will yeah. end up wearing glasses. Yeah, I need maybe next, next week teacher because uh, this uh, weekend I don't uh, I didn't, uh, no, no me sentía bien. I wasn't. I didn't feel well. I didn't feel well. I didn't feel well. And I tried to take in a rest because in. I tried in the rest, to take I tried, a rest. I tried to take a rest because uh, in the regular week is complex. Yeah, I imagine, I imagine, I mean. I understand yeah. you totally. Once in a while. Yeah, you work a holic teacher. <laughs> yeah, no, but still, I mean, I get tired once in a while. I get tired. Believe me. Yeah. Like right now, I want to sleep. I'm not, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, well, the situation is this. My, my schedule varies because like tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to wake up late. I'm going to wake up around seven. Wow, is this late? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, it's early for me. Yeah, but I mean, I uh, I finish my morning job. I finish uh, November the 30th. Okay. So I will have one month I that I will <laughs> not have to work mornings. Nice. I Just think that we need to night. Yeah. So do, do you think about a, I don't know, vacation? So just work. I'm looking for more something else. Work. Yeah. I yeah, mean, I know. One month is too too much for me. Because but my morning job, happened? I I finish November the thirtieth, and I get back in next year, January the fifth. Okay. So it's yeah, you long. have a 
wall, yeah, whole uh, wall, no, who said it? Whole month. Wall, whole month. Whole month. Yeah, it's well, so, actually, I need I have, a month. I will have like one month, one week and a half, like totally free. Completely free. Because nice. right now I am getting I'm getting more classes for December, so I'm gonna be busy. And do you have any plan for this week? This week, this coming this week we are right now. Or no, you mean the, for the, the... your free week. No, your free week. Oh well, yeah, sure. I need Work. to paint <laughs> the house. No, I need to paint yeah. the house. I need to wash the, the cistern. I need to fix the roof. I need to fix some doors. I need to go get the, 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 the welder because I'm gonna be gonna fix some doors. Let's see what else. I want to change one door. Mm. What else do I need to do? Yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do. Nice teacher. Yeah. You love that. Stuff. Yeah, sure. <laughs> hey Roxana, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, but that's just me talking with you and finding out about your weekend. Now, I would like you to ask each other, how was your weekend? Find out about your classmate, please. I'll give you four minutes for you to, to get together in groups and talk a little bit. Let me check. Yes, every group will have one or two that who has not participated yet in the activity. So let's get into the groups and ask each other, how was your weekend? What did you do? Pay attention because I'm going to ask some of you about your classmates. Four minutes, guys, let's do it. Receive a, lot of, receive a lot of people um, and we have more um, a participation of the musical groups, uh, traditional musical group, uh, they call bandas or I don't know, uh, combos, 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 and uh, near to my restaurant and uh, we have a lot of fun there okay interesting teacher i have a question how do yeah, you sure. say how do you say escucho o te escucho cortado mm. um, cuando escuchamos acá que tenemos problemas yes yes but it's not actually the thing is this the word is not cortado 
Ya, yeah, en, en español usamos esa expresión. Yeah, yeah, because the proper way would be entrecortado. Ah, ok. Ok. Chopping. Sorry. Or, well, colloquially would be choppy. Choppy or choppy? Choppy. But oh, chop, the, chop, most, is the most proper cooking. one, hold on, guys. No, no, no. You can say it colloquially. For, for colloquially. technical problem. Colloquially. But okay. in this case, you can say that your voice is faltering due to, due to bad connection. Okay. And sería, I hear you choppy. Yeah, I hear you choppy, or or you can be specific and say, hey, your voice is faltering, perhaps for a bad connection. Okay. Yeah, and actually, uh, Erwin said that he had uh, problems with the with the connection, right? Yes, yes, he has. He has a problem. Okay, okay, teacher. It's a it's a common phrase in this class. <laughs> I hear you chop it. Okay. So how about your weekend? Um, my weekend and Saturday I was working in the morning, and in the afternoon I went to the mall to do the shopping. Really, I I I only went to pay the shopping because my wife uh, did did the shopping and, and she stayed away from me in, in the in the mall because I had a lot of work and yesterday I stay at home I I have uh, to do uh, I don't know how short and my children once wanted to decorate the Christmas tree. And it was the, the activity of yesterday. And you, Sylvia, how was your weekend? My weekend was good. Uh, I just worked. I usually work on, week on weekends. I didn't have any, I didn't have a... Uh, my day off on weekend because I take it uh, during the week. And I have a lot of work. I have been working like hours. So I think that I have to do. Do you say it to me? I have. I have, I have. And <laughs> Is a uh, with with my with um, celebrations, <laughs> but it's a uh, Saturday. And um, my son gra graduate. Um, ah, your son graduation. The, yes, the bachelor, the school. In high school, high school, high school, high school. Mm -hmm. oh. high school. Um, and in other other. Other world, other job is in the University of El Salvador. Uh, mm. I, I am, a, I, I am a teacher for students of pre-grade. Hey, it's not. You are an engineer, bro. Sorry. Engineer, engineer, engineer. I'm sorry, I engineer. Don't listen. Are you an engineer, Nicolas? Ah, uh, yes, yes, I am an engineer. Uh, is my 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 first activity for engineer is with animals, uh, specifically uh, cows, uh, rabbits, chicken, uh, abejas. Uh, how do you what? Abejas, how do you say abejas? Bees. 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 Uh, is, 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 my, is my favorite activity in the in career. Uh, 
Career is carrera. Yeah. You are yes. an ag you are an agronomist. Yes, yes, I am okay. an agronomist. It's it's good. Yeah, yes, it's very good uh, for me, of, of course. Yeah, okay. You know, I'm not that good at that, but I'm trying to get interested into, into plants, you know. The problem is that whenever I plant a, a tree, a flower, whatever, it dies. <laughs> Sorry, teacher, <laughs> it's very it's very fast for me in your comment. I am trying to get acquainted with planting. Quiero aprender a plantar. But whatever I plant dies. Is is your hand, your hot hand, teacher. <laughs> Do you need the, a, a good moon, teacher? A good moon. Uh, and which one is a good moon? A which? full moon? Luna llena? Well, there are different moments for the moon. Uh, in, I don't remember the state uh, of the moon for uh, Eh, favorecer, favorecer to, help, to help. It is to, true. It to is help. true. To, yes, of course. It's true. It is true. Oh, I for, don't know. For, I don't know. <laughs> for example, wow. in your life, in, in your character, the moon is very important, and the comfort uh, for the for the blood, for example, for the blood in the in the plant is. Is no blooming, 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 blooming. blooming well, uh, how do you say blooming in Spanish? Interesting. Cuando florea? No. Sangre, que yo decía, por ejemplo, oh, blood. 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 Ah, and your uh, blood. You know, you know, if it's like that, my wife is always with the moon. Ah, yeah, really? <laughs> I know. And, and I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, he, uh, for, for me, is is that so? Interesting. Hey, let's go back to the main room. My bad. Okay, guys, let's see. I know that you had your little conversation together and that was good. I was checking out. And that's fine. That's fine. It's good that you practice. But we got to jump into an activity right now from our manual. Let me show it to you, please. Okay. In page number 16, we have the exercise nine still from last unit, and it's an excerpt about the decline of apples. I remember that this article is from 2013, but it's very interesting in vocabulary. It says, 12 years ago and 26 devices later, the generation defining iPod range looks like it's about to fade into history without so much as a win for it. I think all of us have known for some time that Apple is a declining business, said Apple, Apple boss Tim Cook in 2014. 
discussing the company's latest earnings report. He announced massive profits as ever, but noted that Apple sales had dipped 52% down on this time in 2013, with further drops expected. The Apple had been nervously looking over its shoulder for some time. When the iPhone was launched in 2007, Steve Jobs joked that it was the best iPhone we've ever made, and he was right. With its apps and other smartness, the iPhone meant there was no longer any need to own an iPhone as a separate device, so long as you could afford it. Apple wasn't afraid to create a product that would disrupt a successful existing business. Apple thought, if we don't do something, someone else will. And even today, despite the dramatic 52% fall, the Apple range still generates big revenues. 973 million, but 973 million out of Apple's total, total revenues is just a minor sideline or as technology news site The Verge put it, a hobby, which leads most people in the know to predict that while Apple may not discontinue the iPod in the very near future, we are unlikely to see any kind of significant update of the devices. Now, let's see, guys. We are going to do a group work. But what are we going to do? Okay, I am going to choose a product and we are going to pretend that that product is on the client. Working as a group, you're going to discuss possible strategies that a manufacturing or distributing company could apply and what advantages would those strategies bring to the company. So the exercise for us is just the number, the second and the third step, okay? The first one, I am going to give it to you. So I'm sending you a picture. And you will be given 10 minutes to discuss and present to me your strategies. Before we move into that, let me please get the attendance once again. Amareli Alfaro Gomez. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Thank you, Erwin. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Present. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Solto. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Okay, just give me a second. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Ivet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Janir Elizabeth Asensio García. 
Okay, guys, now, let's see. Let me see, let me just get rid of something here ready so you can all get it. Okay, now remember the instructions. You'll be working in groups. I'll pass by every group telling you the name of the product, okay? So let's see. Okay, the groups are created. Please jump in so I can pass by fast. Okay, guys, your product is uh, Coca-Cola. It's bad right now, it's going down. Nobody wants to buy it. So you need to save that company. So remember, you need to give me strategies, okay? Okay, teacher. It is so hard. Okay, guys, let's huh? see. We got us ourselves at trouble okay, okay. The, uh, let's see let's see let me see who are here okay perfect. the company that you need to save is well the product that you need to save are churros churros yeah churritos you know the little Churro Diana. Churro yeah Diana. you need to save them Mm, okay. no, bro, nobody nobody wants it no more it's going down so let's save it yes creo, creo que es. okay we can talk about guys no i'm going to give you the topic oh okay. okay okay the product that you need to save is beers nobody wants to buy beers <laughs> nobody knows what is it teacher no. yeah i know you need to save it so create a strategy <laughs> okay Okay, sure. Okay, hello guys. Hi. The product, the product you need to save right now, and that's right now, is coffee. Nobody wants to drink coffee in El Salvador. So you need to promote coffee. Create a strategy for promoting coffee, okay? Okay. I select, I, I, uh, I don't remember to say. I think that a good idea to use a, a more glass or more oh, yes. or more plastic because they cost more less. Um, because the situation is this. Um, I don't know. Hey, what do you think, Jose Alberto? Uh, in my case, I think uh, Coca-Cola could offer uh, a two-pack in a, a special a special price, oferta. Mm. Okay. Okay. You need to write them down because you're going to present them to me, okay? And to the oh, class. Okay. <laughs> yes, we're going to make a presentation and all of you will participate. Okay. okay. And the amphitron. And all. Perrones, but no. But it is delicious. Very ah, really? Good. Yes. Where, okay. where, where, where? Chicharrones, where? <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried this one? Not really. Yes, I did. They are so delicious. Yes. It is you know those than... things? Those things kill my stomach. Ah, because you say you you have yeah. I... and, and the problem is that I like the one that are the hot ones. <sighs> my goodness. The really hot ones. Really? Chili ones. Yeah, yeah sure. I mean uh, with my son, we opened a can of jalapenos and we ended up. No. <laughs> Have you put lemon to the jalapenos, La Diana? Lemon, lemon and salt. Lemon, lemon 
yeah. is really bad for me. I mean, I, I can I, I, stand hot stuff, but lemon, uh, I mean, I drink coffee and no problem, but lemon, ooh, that's really it bad is, for me. It is a bomb for you, teacher. Yeah, it is. Hey, guys, remember to take notes. You are going to present it to me and to the class, okay? Okay, okay. No, what is meant? No, it it wasn't uh, like that. It was bitter. sweet. What? It's an international beer. Bitter. I uh, I was I don't remember the name, but it's a Belgian Belgian uh, beer, I guess. Belgian ah, beer. Ah, Belgian. Mm -hmm. Belgian. But it's strong. Yeah. It's a strong. You know what what the percentage of alcohol? It's like seven. Yeah. Or even even at night, I guess. What's the name of yes. it? A uh, bleacher. I... Oh, I guess it is a bleacher. That's not strong. It's really strong. Oh, there is a, a no say. I, I don't remember uh, what is the it's name. It's just but... like it's just like seven degrees. Seven. It's but... one beer, but uh, from uh, Germany. Yeah, but it's just seven. Actually, in Germany. In Germany, you can you can drink like beers that are fourteen. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. Yeah. Germany is the country that has the most stronger, uh, strongest uh, beers, the strongest beer. I'm sorry. Well, the in Ireland they got good ones also. Guinness is a little bit strong, mm -hmm. but it's just like nine. Yeah. Guinness is strong yeah. also. Yeah. And black. But El Salvador is totally different, you know. No. <laughs> we have, have a lot of uh, you, or... you have a lot of taste here in El Salvador. Yeah, plenty of tastes. Yeah. One of those, if you want to try something strongest, you can try Regia. Mm, yeah. yeah. And also, like it's a lager. Yeah, it's a lager, right? too. Yeah. I like the black one. Oh, okay. And it's stronger, right? Yeah. Well, actually, the, the red one is the strongest than the black one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The, all of the kind of Suprema are stronger. Well, not that much. I mean, but uh, okay. um, when you compare with the other one? Well, you know, the, the one who really knows about that is Claudia. <laughs> yeah, I think I think green. <laughs> but if you want to try something light, you can try Michael of Ultra. That's water. Yeah, that's a water. That's, a that's water. But now yeah, these are two different water. options. You waste your your money there. Yeah, that's water. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's right. <laughs> but you love the classic. You know yeah, what sure. is sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. What is the classic? You know Feels what is the it. classic? Yeah, Breaking? that's right. Yeah, ah, yeah. yeah. I really good. I and it's I funny because it's not a, really a Pilsen. Uh, I you prefer uh, Michelada. Uh. Yeah, you, uh, you you lose everything with when you yeah. make a michelada. Yeah, no. I mean, yeah, you lose you lose the the taste. Yeah. You know, Roxana, you don't know how to work your public because everything is going on really fine. Really? Yes, but then you say that word and. <laughs> But the, I, I was talking about uh, the bureau station, and I see I I was see, I was uh, saying that I tried a cherry beer. It was a sweet beer. Unacceptable I, for me. Why? I like it bitter. <laughs> But uh, sometimes uh, you need to um, taste the different options. Yeah, but for, for me, a beer is something bitter. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, it, it was weird. 
but uh, for I mean, uh, the sweetest, culture. The sweetest I can the sweetest I can pass is the Guinness. I don't like wine. Actually, I'm not a I'm not a beer person. I mean, I can have a couple, but it's not that I drink that much. I mean, after twelve, I'm okay. What do you prefer, whiskey? Yes, sure. <laughs> oh, whiskey is really is really good. It's tasty. Jack Daniels. Actually, I'm more like a Johnny Walker guy. Oh, Johnny Walker. Oh, okay, you are talking about more expensive. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> but, it's better. Yeah, it's really very. Yeah, you say. I, mean, it, I, you I say take it too. once on a while, once on a very while, but it's better. <laughs> once on a very while. Yeah. Whiskey, whiskey is more, um, it's more Perfect. stronger than tequila. Mm. In a way. It's just that you're talking about two different types of spirits and two different styles of drinking. Because uh -huh. uh, when you talk about scotch, it's something that you smell, you taste, you savor, okay? Uh -huh. And then you drink, uh -huh. and it's something that you drink like short drinks. And a short yeah. drink can last long. When you talk about the second one, the Mexican one, I mean, that's that's hard liquor. You take shots, okay? You take yes. shots straight down, okay? Okay. It's a different style of drinking and a different type of, of spirit. And I mean, you get, you can get really wasted with, with scotch, but that's something that you don't want to know the next day. I mean, you hate life the following day. <laughs> Okay. And have you ever tried? Have you ever tried um, mezcal? Yeah, sure. I'm Actually, uh, I used to, I used to, I used to have, I used to have mezcal at home almost all the time. Ah, that's really good, teacher. That's really good. The thing is this, as I told you, I used to be, uh, I used to drink more liquor. Now I don't. But mm -hmm. between my favorites is uh, whiskey and gin. I love gin. Ah, uh, gin. Yes. Okay. Gin is delicious. A really, a really good kind of, I don't know, yeah, beverage. The, the smell and the taste is delicious. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know that one. Claudia told me how to mix it. Ah, okay. Seriously, Claudia. This place makes him super mad. How is it? You ready or the product is there? Tell me, tell me. Ready, always to turn. <laughs> Or the product is dead already. Or ya matamos el producto. Too thin. <laughs> what was your product again? Teacher, the coffee, but coffee, yes, Susana sure. and me, uh, we do not drink coffee. So. Be creative, my dear. <laughs> yes. Marta, you don't drink coffee? I am so Rather sorry me. for so sorry for you. Rather me, teacher. No I every so, day. So I am maybe, so sorry for you. Maybe one or I am one or two times mira, per week. Mira como lo lamento. I am <laughs> really sorry for Peach. you. It's bad for my precious. It's so sad to hear that. It's bad for my precious teacher. <laughs> yeah, I know. My wife got blood pressure too, and we take, whenever we go out, we drink us an espresso. Uh, we love coffee. Oh my God. Ready, guys? Check. Yes. Okay, let's yes. check the rest of the goods. Ready? Yeah. Are you ready, guys? 
No. Yes. No. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll give just two more minutes, okay? Thank you, okay, teacher. teacher. Thank you. Vaya, resumamos porque ahorita yo me quedé un poco en la luna. Ok. Uh, eh. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. First group was Daniel, Jose Ernesto, Maria Alejandra, Nicolás, Walter. What was your product, guys? Tell me. Okay, soda, soda, tell me. That product, nobody wants to drink it. So tell me, how are you going to do to save it? Uh, 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 I told with my parents, uh, the, my parents told me, uh, and we are agreeing, and 
you maybe could offer a two pack of, of beverage and with a offer, uh, offerta teacher promotions, okay. Uh, okay. the promotion yes, the price and, and offer uh, a glass. Okay. Offer That's a glass. A, uh, a free glass. As a, as, as a special promotion. A free glass. A free glass teacher. Yeah, remember, you have to present it as free so people can get like excited. What else? What else? Do you have any other solution or suggestion, guys? Mm, yes, sir. I think that it's strategies for uh, the use of more plastic and glass and change the presentation of cans. Okay, that sounds interesting. Um, the advantage is uh, the future is in the culture of recycling when the company think in this to about anticipate or anticipate, I don't know, anticipate. Como anticipar, eh, como, como prever. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, anticipating, you mean? Uh -huh, anticipating to the new habits uh, of the people who consume it. Um, okay. I think, I think, uh, I have, uh, I think uh, what all the advantages are uh, the industry is probably, um, buys more product for use more glass or more uh, recycled recycled plastic or recycled recycled plastic and for protect the environment the Much environment the environment yes the environment okay. uh, which person need protect the environment okay. it's probably many people many, many people. people many people okay thank you teacher no thank you you guys excellent excellent group number two Ana Claudia Erwin Fernando Silvia and Wilfredo tell me what was your product uh, our product is a uh, traditional churrito from okay Vian, but in a special package eco-friendly and okay. With, um, okay, listen, with, Erwin. In an in an eco-friendly packaging. Okay, eco-friendly packaging, and uh, with some commemorative uh, images. Images. Okay. I, uh, we have two options. One from the uh, images from from the uh, World Cup Com Championship. And okay. the other one for Christmas. Uh, for Christmas. Okay, that's cool. One for Christmas. Yeah, and that's the season right now, right? Yes, teacher. Perfect. And also the, the with the the all the the team members, uh, we were talking about the appearance uh, because the marketing strategy is very important, and the appearance, the presentation of the product. And also we were thinking in launch like a limited edition with commemorative, I don't know if that is called commemorative, commemorative packages. Yes. Uh -huh. So maybe launch a limited edition like like Erwin said, Echo, an Echo friendly Echo edition, friendly. but, uh -huh. but uh, will be the package used in the 80s, the package used in the 90s, maybe that could oh, make a vintage, vintage package. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. And also, cool. and also launching this or making beside that like contests in the social media with hashtags, people can post with their pictures and there are so, there will be some, I am, um, Giveaways? No, yes, giveaways. Yes. Yes. Take <laughs> takeaways. What is the difference because between giveaways and takeaways? I saw both. 
depending on the position where you are. If you are the uh -huh. company, they are giveaways. But uh, the person can take a takeaway. Takeaway. Ah, okay. We are the yeah, company, because... so we put some view. <laughs> okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. That is in addition as about what Erwin says. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Group number three. Group number three were Claudia, Jose, Lucero, and Roxana. Okay, Claudia, tell me what's your product? She knows a lot of knows a lot she of real, she's very knowledgeable in the product yeah. so what she the took product? a master beer, i'm sorry it's beers oh, okay it's beers okay guys as a group tell me tell me what's the problem with beers right now Claudia, you can check the the chat, oh, please. No, the whole group. You can. Ah, okay, them. okay. We okay. we talk about the the problem is that the the pro is declined, right? So yes. we talk about one. Um, we really know. We really made a good meeting about it, and we discuss about the this topic. So. First one, uh, we have to create one pool uh, about the taste that the people like, uh, like strong, sweet, light, lower calories. Then we can relaunch and make some changes that the most people of the tell us uh, to continue consume our product. And make some promotional to introduce uh, our new product and the people know it. Okay, that sounds interesting. Roxana, what's your take into it? Well, another uh, thing that we are talking about is about a uh, packaging because um, sometimes uh, if you are looking for some beers to just uh, have a, one option, just a glass bottle, and maybe uh, we can uh, do some um, different packaging like can or uh, a little uh, barrilitos. How do you say barrilitos? Barrels. <laughs> Barrels. And maybe it will be attractive or product. Oh, yeah. I remember. I remember buying once a barrel, a little barrel. Yeah. Back uh, um, in the days. Yeah, and always uh, try to uh, be inclusive with the fit people, you know, because now it's, it's um, common uh, looking for uh, lower calories and try to uh, continue yeah, with the normal life and don't change uh, everything. Okay, perfect, quite interesting. Thank you very much, guys. Now, group number four, Francisco, Marta, William, and Susana. What was your product? Our products is the coffee teacher. Okay, coffee. Nobody wants coffee no more. So tell me what you're gonna do to save coffee. Well, uh, the first, Step is the attractive package. The presentation okay. is very important. Uh, so we need a good uh, design for our product. Uh, the okay, second perfect. strategy is a uh, one showroom for the presentation of the brand. Uh, for the test of product, what include innovation location. Uh, number three, is many kind of coffee and you can select your combination uh, with other flavor. For example, vanilla, sun, cinnamon, chocolate, and other products. Okay, perfect. Um, other strategy is mini place in the supermarket with mini sam samples. Samples? Um, samples. And oh, finally, sampling, sampling. Sampling, sampling. In the, sampling stands in supermarkets. 
Okay, sentence. Stain in the supermarket. And finally, uh, for buy one coffee, free one sweet bread or cookies. Okay, quite interesting. Very good, guys. Very good. Now, let's see. I got a question. I'm going to ask some of you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Mr. Osorio, tell me. Hi, teacher. Okay. When you are buying a product, tell me, as a customer, uh, what do customers want from a service or a product? Uh, excuse me, teacher. I need to put my earphones on. Excuse me. Okay, teacher. Okay. The question is this, what do customers want from a service or a product? What do you think? What do customers want from a service? Or a product? <clears throat> you as a customer, mm. tell me, what do you value on a product? What makes a product attractive to you besides pricing? Uh, um first the value second the uh, the presentation the product or the, the products are in in the market or okay perfect thank you how about thank you yes yes no 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 if you got more tell me tell me, tell me. <laughs> not teacher or oh, an extra uh, an extra <coughs> promotion, maybe, and mm. if the That's product... something that you consider attractive for you. Yes, teacher. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you, Sylvia. What about you? Hello, Sylvia. Hi, teacher. Tell me, when looking for a product, what do you think? It's, uh, what makes it attractive for you? What do you want? You as a customer, what do you want from a service or a product? Um, it's very important the appearance. Okay. The, I don't know if that's correct. The appearance or yeah, the appearance, the looks. Uh, yeah, it's important the appearance of the product, but it's more important when you feel satisfied when you received what you really wanted. Uh, okay. That means like. That's the product completely satisfied your needs. Excellent. And when you don't, when you don't need that, you have spent your money in unnecessary things. That's important for me. Quite excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, okay. Erwin, what about you? What do customers well, want from a service or product? I think that the, the the most important is the relation, the relation between price and quality. Okay, cost quality relation. Okay, cost quality relation. Okay, this is the most important uh, because if uh, I I I can't feel the product is expensive if this product or this service. Um, supera ex my, my expectation. It's about my expectation. Yes, it's about my expectation. Okay. Overcomes. That's the word Overcome. we we're looking for. Overcome. Okay. That's the word. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, guys, next activity, the conversation from the manual. Let me share screen with you. Here we go. Okay. Now, Diana is applying for a position in the marketing department. We need to read an excerpt from the interview. Take turns practicing the conversation, okay? 
let me get you the conversation first so everybody can have it. Okay, and the conversation goes like this. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four Ps. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. I repeat. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four Ps. Now, second question, how would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Okay, guys, you go right now to do the conversation. Okay, just let me check on something. Okay, groups are created, please jump in. Three minutes to practice, hurry up. Hi. No, Mister. What happened? Can you send with uh, uh, to my 
little room, please. Okay, let's see. Let's Number see. Two. You are working with uh, Mr. Rosario, I think. Let me see. Are we the problem is that you appear that you are Oops. still there? I'll send you to another one right now. No se entiende, pero, pero uh -huh. ya vino. Me voy a preguntar. What ah, are you talking about? You're me? here. Ah, you don't understand me. <laughs> no, about one word. In the... Yes. Excuse me, could you In... repeat that? Inevitably. Inevitably. Will inevitably, inevitably fail. Okay. Inevitably. Inevitably, inevitably fail. <laughs> Okay. okay. Your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market. Sorry. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four PEs. Now, second question. How will you define the marketing mix? Well, put it plain, plainly. Well, put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Okay. Let's start with the most... I never I never Yes. I never I never Yeah, but I that I is very short. I never I never I never it's, it's just that remember you have a ne inevitable. That's the the the, the, I the adjective. But this one is an outer. I inevitable. I inevitable. That's an outer. So you need to pronounce the I at the end. I never believe. I never I No, I never I never like believe. that. Perfect. Yeah. I never believe. <laughs> no, that's perfect. That's perfect, Sylvie. Okay. Believe me, that word is easy. Some words are complex, but that one is oh, easy. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> for me, I try to me, avoid I'm, this type for, of. I try to avoid this type of words using another one. <laughs> yes, me yeah, too. that happens to all of us. But you know what? Which one I have a problem with? Why? We need to add a vocabulary. Cucumber. Cucumber. I hate that word. Cucumber. Why? Because I, I mean, I can pronounce it right now to you. Well, I know that it's cucumber. The first U is long. And the second one is short. And it goes Yo like this, cucumber. Okay. See, for me, that word is, is a problem. When I am speaking in a sentence, I get like, I get stuck. <laughs> okay, yo toda la vida lo he dicho cucumber. <laughs> no, cucumber, Cuc uh, cucumber. Cucumber. No, no going up. Cucumber. Cucumber. Yeah, like that. Hey, that word. <laughs> and what is the meaning of the word? Pepino. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Could you repeat the pronunciation? <laughs> okay, okay. It's cucumber. 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 
here. Cucumber. 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 Yeah, like that. Cucumber. 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 Yeah. Me está diciendo que he estado engañada todo este tiempo y le he dicho cucumber. Ah. <laughs> For real? Yeah, me too. I always say it like that. No, you, you have to say I like cucumber, 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 cucumber. cucumber. Yeah, like that. So you have said cucumber. That's weird. That's weird. That's even weird than me. But people, people understand that cucumber. Yeah, American people understand. <laughs> yeah, but they are in the inside. They are like, oh my gosh. <laughs> they feel embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, hey, man. Okay. <laughs> Qué bueno que no hablo con americano como Silvia. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Silvia is right now like. I feel ashamed. <laughs> ashamed. Yeah. <laughs> Silvia is trying to remember all the people that she has called them. Would you like cucumbers on your salad? Yes. Oh my gosh. I know. I try that to was... sound very professional, but stop that. Please stop. <laughs> You are killing me. <laughs> you know something? It's so weird that I love. It's tan raro que yo me ría tanto. <laughs> but that's so funny. When you read Cucumber, you can think about us. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, gee. So Silvia says that she's very serious and professional, but she says <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah, that's Silvia. Right. <laughs> it's too good to pass on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Too easy, too easy. <laughs> well, the good thing okay. is this, that you can laugh at it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes. The good thing is this, that you are not seeing the last person you told that word. Hopefully. Maybe sometimes uh, some people no, uh, say... Que no, vea pronto al último que le digo así. <laughs> no, oh, pero, yeah. pero alguien ya le dijo a ella la pronunciación correcta y ella se quedó a... Ah, y no la entendió. Could, could have happened. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know what? The thing is, this mostly tourists, American, most of American tourists, not all, but most of American tourists, if you mispronounce something in a very long sentence, they are very polite. If they understood it, they won't point it out. They will keep on the conversation like normal. Yeah. Yeah, that's that right. Happens. They never that interrupt happens. you when you are speaking. No, no, they are very respectful in that in that area. I mean, they are not <laughs> correcting you all the time. Because it's no one different. told me that it was saying cupo. <laughs> and she, <laughs> cucum she, she was uh, put cucumber in their food. <laughs> yeah. Nobody ever told you, Sylvia. No. You see, they are very polite. Well, it would yeah. have been different if they were French. French people, man. French <laughs> are very dedicated to their language. Oh, really? Yeah, they can understand you, but if you are mispronouncing, they act out like if they don't. Oh. They want people to pronounce word perfect. Yeah. But yeah, yeah like, if, like if you ask for a croissant, I mean, if you say croissant, they will they will be like, what? They understand you, but until you say croissant, they won't pay attention to you. But 
but uh, I think that in a regular regular conversation, when you are in a restaurant, it's different because uh, some waiters are Latin person, so they are so hard. In France. No, when you are uh, visit another country. Oh yeah, that happens. That happens, but waiter but a pure, are. Pure... A pure, a pure French, I mean, they are very demanding with their language. Yeah, maybe. No, like uh, Americans, that they don't care if you say cucumber, right? I'm gone. <laughs> yeah. I'm gone. <laughs> I will try not even to look at you, Sylvia, so I don't remember. Okay, let's see. The first couple to do the presentation are Sylvia and Roxana. Okay. okay. You start, Sylvia. <clears throat> Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That's it. You must define, define who, are, who you are selling to. And you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably, inevitably fail. That's right. Tar target your market and be sure to understand the four PS. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to, do, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Okay, perfect. Just remember, Roxana, I inevitably fail. I inevitably, inevitably fail. fail. Perfect. Thank now, you. Ana Claudia and Marta, please, Ana Claudia, you start. Okay. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here is the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who are selling to, and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four P's. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Okay, perfect. Marta, figure out, figure out. Figure out. Figure out. Figure, figure. figure out. Thank you, teacher. Figure out. Figure out. Perfect, thank you. And Fernando and Maria Alejandra, please. Fernando, you'll start. 
let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that warrant the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define how you are selling to, and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target the market and be sure to understand the four piece. Now, second question. How would you define how would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put in plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Inevitably. Okay. Maria I know it's hard. I know it's hard. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Let's let's see. Claudia Ramos and Wilfredo. Claudia, you start. Okay. Let us let us start with the most important part of the interview. Here's a first question. What are the key elements that warranty the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is your most defined who, who you are selling to. And you need to figure out that, that they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably Inevitably. I inevitably fall. Thank you. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four P's. Now, second question. How well do you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it finally, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right, in the right place, in the time, with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Erwin and Walter, please. Erwin, you start. <laughs> Oops, I guess Erwin is not available. Okay, I'll start with you. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that warranty the success of the marketing mix? I think you had to tiger the market. The region must define who you are selling to what you need to figure or what dates one. If you don't do this, your business will I never I very well. I never have fear. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the full piece. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Well, and to put it plain, the marketing mix in about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion at the right price. To the this way, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Okay, perfect. Francisco Eduardo and Susana, next. Who will start, teacher? You start. Okay. Uh, let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that warranty the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to and you need to figure out, uh, out uh, what they want. If you don't do this, your business will 
inevitably fine. That's right. Target the market and be sure to understand the four P's. Now, second question. How will you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plain, finally, uh, the plainly. marketing plainly, plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place on time, will with and uh, the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every as aspect of your business plan. Okay, I'm just missing two couples. Solo me faltan dos parejas. Before I continue, please check out. Eh, les acabo de poner en el chat. Perdón que pase español. Necesito hacerlo rápido. La programación para esta semana. Eh, de quienes se quedarían conmigo para las sesiones uno a uno. La pueden revisar en el chat de acá del, de Zoom. Let's continue, Nicolás and William, please. Who you Nicolás, start? you start. Okay. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the case elements that warranty the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is your must define who you are selling to, and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand for the, the four piece. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put in the planning, the marketing mix in about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and the right price. To do this well, you need to this every aspect of your business plan. Perfect. Jose Ernesto Osorio and Jose Wilfredo Ayala, please. Jose Ernesto, you'll start. Okay, teacher. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the market mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four P's. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put in plantly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect on your business plan. Okay, guys, thank you very much for waiting for me uh, to finish this activity. My bottom, uh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry it's okay. Teacher. Let worry, me please get the, get the final attendance. You've been a very nice group tonight. And tomorrow, actually, just to let you know, tomorrow the whole class is going to be mostly speaking. Okay, okay. Woo. tomorrow we are going to have almost a full class of speaking. So be ready for that. It's going to be quite interesting. And Barrio Gomez, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Thank you. Thank you. Present teacher. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. 
Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio. Okay, guys, thank you very much and have a good night. See you teacher, tomorrow. Teacher, and me, and me. I'm sorry, one person. Walter Mauricio Walter. Morales, thank you. Fito Celaya. No, Fito my Celaya. Bad, my bad. Oof. Have a good night. I expect to see you amanyo, tomorrow. Amanyo, amanyo. Bye bye. Bye, bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye, see you tomorrow. bye everybody. Bye. Walter. Wilfredo Amanyo. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. You say no, are you around or still busy?
Gnome Serial. Well, let's see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.